Yo, yo, my people. How are you? I hope you are blessed. Just ya, yeah, chatting a van, negative to positive. Um, what I want to get at is today is um, a story about basically about how getting in with the wrong crowd, how getting in with the wrong crowd can you know end you up with a, a length a lengthy prison sentence. This is the point of today's story, and also put your life in danger. And what I'm trying to get at is. Like, if you're a good kid and you don't need to be involved in this life, you know, you've got a good family and, you, and, you, and you've and and you you got options, yeah? Like, look, some some kids have nothing. Do you get me? From the get-go, they have to get up and they have to go and fucking do everything. Do you get me? I did anyway. You get me? I didn't even have money for a fucking 99p burger, bro. So, my only way was to rob. And I understand that. But I wonder about kids that have a choice and you've got good parents and you've had a good upbringing and you've got a nice home and you've you've got you know good family good setting and you've got a choice you know and, and but then you decide to get in with the wrong crowd because you feel like they're on top and you feel like you feel like it'll be cool to chill with them you know if i'm rolling with them i'm i'm untouchable and stuff like that and i'm good and stuff like that yeah um so yeah let me get into it let me get into it so so this kid basically Good kid, good lad, like I'm saying, you know, staunch guy, he's still my boy now. Um, he basically got involved with us, you know, when I say it was me, I'm at that time, my right arm, yeah. I won't say his name either. And then we were active on the roads, like back then, 2016, 15, 16, probably was the pinnacle year, you know what I'm saying, like where we was on, on top, you know. No one could really come out as everybody were getting it, whoever came. And I'm gonna get into all them stories of all them people that ran off and stuff like that and, 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 and put it all out there, you know, but in a nice positive manner. And yeah, we was on top and obviously when you're on top a lot people wanna be around you, you know. When you're flying, people wanna be around you, you know, when you go down, people don't wanna be around you no more. But when you're flying, you're on top, everybody wants to be your friend, everybody wants to talk to you, everybody wants to be around you. Like I said, I was active, I had a tool on me every day, use your imagination. And um, and basically, this kid started chilling with us. And, you know, he didn't have to. Obviously, he probably thought it was cool to chill with us. You know what I'm saying? And he had that protection. He could do what he wants, you know. One phone call, we're having a land, you know. It is what it is. So, yeah, like I said, we were active. We had a couple of gang wars going on at, at that time. Two or three, maybe. And obviously when you're beefing, you can't really make money and stuff like that. So I had a, I had like, he was like a blender. Not many people knew he was chilling with us. And uh, I had a head waiting. And this is when his life got put in danger. I had a head waiting. And I asked him to go see that, that person, yeah, to do a delivery. And um, he's going to go see him because he said, yeah, no worries, bro, I'll box it off for yeah? you. So he's gonna go see him, and when he's in Tysel, it's a one-way road. You go in, and you only can get out one way. I'm sure. Anyway, I'm not sure. I've never been down deep, deep down, but I'm sure it's one way in, one way out, a long road. And this head that's formed was was friends with the ops, and I knew that. But I thought, let me just see, because I knew they wouldn't do out to him, to this kid. They just wanted me in it. So this kid's gone. This kid's gone, and when he drove down that road. A, a jeep or a car's come down in front of him and someone's pulled in behind him it's late at night i think it's like two in the morning or something like that and then obviously they've deked him or looked at him and that and then and then obviously he's he's obviously clicked it's a setup do you know what i mean so obviously he's got off he's rung me he's rung me he's gone yo bro then not try to set 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 me up you know or set you up and this and that yeah so i've got on the phone of the guy that rung give him loads and um but that's what i'm saying look at that he's started chilling with the wrong crowd you know before he knows it he's going to see people then he's going to see a person and then and then and then he's and then he could have could have lost his life could have got seriously hurt could have got beat up you know what i mean it's a good job that they just wanted me and he got away got out of there and obviously at the time that's cool get he's probably buzzing thinking yeah fucking hell try da, da, da. you know what i mean it's an exciting story for him to tell but obviously to us it wasn't exciting, to us it was deadly serious. So the the reaction to that was my my guy, he was on a, he was partying you know, or whatever, he goes, let me come round and, and we'll go deal with it. So he came round, we jumped in a very high powered motor vehicle, super fast. 
we flew to this guy's place um, and whatever happened there happened there you know we did what we had to do to show man that you can't do that to us and you know that that settled that that beef i think that action for a while you know that beef i think after that they knew and it settled and certain of their main guys were in jail at the time and, you know i'm not i'm not going to mention that because that's that's coming on sunday that, that full story and um yeah and then this kid you know he still kept chilling with us still kept rolling with us and, you know he's younger than us so we can you know we're a bit older so you're always a bit clever you can always give a little bit of blag you know what i mean and keep kids on board and keep them happy and stuff like that and then basically what's happened is he's been pulled over in a car you know i think he um he was selling some sort of drugs at the time i don't want to say what it is because i don't know if he got got in trouble actually the guy that was in the car with him took the drug charge i think and he got done for classes and um what happened is obviously this kid he, he, he had a shotgun he's been at jail for this anyway the police found it so i can talk about it he had a shotgun and obviously he was rolling with us and um, he had a shotgun and because he was not known to the police he was that much of a blender that much of a good kid he just put the shotgun in his hanger because it needed to be easy accessible at that time he's put it at, on the hanger this is what i think i'm not 100 but i know this i think it was in a jd bag and um obviously the police have found the drugs in the car and they've gone to search the house because like an idiot i think he give him give him his address he shouldn't have done that really but you know everything happens for a reason and it's probably a blessing that it did happen to him because he's doing much better now i'm not going to say what he's doing but he's flying he's doing very well you know very well you know and, and hats off to him and um he got caught with a shotgun the police raided the house to found the gun and you know he never grasped he never said oh xyz made me put it there or it's not mine it's xyz you know he took it on the chin and he went to jail and he used to write to me i used to write to him and we're still friends now and um yeah that's the story of luck this kid was a good kid i'm sure he used to play rugby or something like that you know he was a very good young man you know everybody liked him you know everybody still likes him now you know but back then you know like we weren't really liked and stuff like that like everyone liked him he was a good kid come from a good background and he just got in with the wrong crowd got in with the wrong crowd and ended up going to jail for five and a half years. Do you know what I mean? All because he thought it were cool to chill with us. Do you know what I'm saying? Straight up, you know what I mean? At that time, a lot of people wanted to be around us because they, they thought, you know, we, we were, we were the, the in thing. You know, I don't know. Trending. <laughs> but that's what I'm getting at. So be careful, you know, when you're doing if if who you go around you know like once again just be careful because look he ended up with five years in prison it's not worth it you know it probably affected his mental health you know sat in that cell probably missing certain family members you know you're probably regretting why did i do that why did i go chill with them or stuff like that you know what i mean so just watch so just learn from that you know learn from that getting in with the wrong people can get you a lengthy prison sentence and you can get yourself involved in guns, you can nearly get yourself killed and stuff like that. So yeah, that's just a quick one just to keep the channel popping. Um, that's probably going to be it from me now till, till, till Sunday when I drop the big one. Um, I'm gonna, I've got a few more podcasts coming with some people. Um, but I'm just going to try to get my following up because I want more and more people to see it. So I'm... At the minute, I'm trying to get into some youth work and stuff like that, you know. I'm doing really well. And uh, I appreciate all the positive vibes, all the positive energy, you know, all the people that, that, that are, you know, popping up to me and that, you know. Because when you've been on the roads, when you've been on the roads and you've really put in work and really done stuff, it's really hard to, to, to get out, break that cycle, man. It's really hard to break it and, and come out of it, you know what I'm saying? It is man, because you know a lot of man talk. Oh, look at him, he's on TikTok. Da, 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 da. But I'll be honest with you, 99.9% .9 of men have got the balls to do what I'm doing right now in Bradford, like even just to talk on a camera, you know. And there's a lot of guys out there that have put in some serious work, and I'd love to get them on here, man. I'd love to get them trying, even if you're active, even if you're active, come on the show, man, and just. You don't have to say what you're doing. I just want to know what it's like being active. Let the, let the people, let the world know. However many, I ain't got that many views, but let the people know. Like, 
what it's like being active. So, yeah, man. That's really, that's it for today. Um, just jar, YouTube channel, you know, like, share, subscribe, and bless people, man.